Yeah, I think the current today's model is um, very centralized. You know, today, like if you look at, let's just take ads, for example, um, there are very, very few kind of top publisher that uh, effectively kind of have um, full control over, um, you know, like advertisement at all. So if you, let's say you want to buy an ad, you will go to a company like Google or uh, Meta, um, where they have the largest distribution. Um, and when you think about kind of in the context of Web3 or the blockchain, it's like the blockchain is the source of truth and it is ultimately kind of the, um, you know, as permissionless and trustless and you don't have to trust this single singular authority on on letting you kind of advertise your app or not, right? Like um, you will hear um, very often people will try to list the app, um, uh, the app or kind of have, they, they have an app that they want to kind of advertise. They will need to go to approval or review from like Google or Meta and sometimes they get rejected and they can't do anything about it. And obviously I think, you know, ads, you know, is just one of the small example. I do think that um, with blockchain technology and with kind of new set of primitives, um, it allows for more interesting experimentations, but also different ways to um, kind of make money, not just from ads, right? It's like different kind of models. And I think we have seen that from um, like um, what, you know, a few protocol has done was like, what if, you know, every content you post online is a coin? What if, you know, anyone could participate by buying uh, um, your coin or buying the content? And I think there's a lot of different iterations and a lot of experimentation can be unlocked by using this new set of like uh, financial primitives um, on the blockchain and creating this kind of economy that is um, not possible before um, and is now kind of fully driven by a permissionless and trusted system, but also has liquidity that kind of associate to it as well. And so I think that's like uh, very, very very exciting and very, very interesting. Um, and I think that combining kind of, you know, what crypto is today, the liquidity on the blockchain and the technology, um, I do think that, you know, it kind of opens up um, different possibility of what's possible uh, for developer built economy. And I kind of think that this is now almost like a moment in time where it's like new type of internet economy is forming.